know that doesn't work. What is up, everybody? Peter Cole here. So, today we had our Nightmare Tournament, or Superintendent's Revenge, or Tough Day, whatever you want to call it. We did that today. So, the format was 666. You know, you had six holes of Captain's Choice, six holes of Best Ball, and six holes of Alternate Shot. This was my first time setting up a golf course and doing everything completely, you know, on my own. Sort of. I, I had a little bit of help from my pro who was not here as the setup and everything was going on. So, uh, but I did the greens. I chose the, fa the, the flag locations. I painted the course as far as like the hazard markings. Did all the stuff in Golf Genius. Did it all by myself. So, it's been a lot of fun this weekend. And the pin placements are just absolutely brutal, as they should be for this particular kind of tournament. So what I've done is I have gotten a list of the six hardest holes from today's tournament. And the reason I did that is because we did split it up into six different, or six hole, three different formats of six holes. So I think I said that right. One last try. I did this because... We played three different formats of six holes. Whatever. Y'all know what I mean. So, I took the six hardest holes, got the best score, and the worst score. And what I'm going to do for y'all today is I'm going to try to beat the best score. The goal is to tie it, but I really want to beat it. But in reality, I'm doing this solo, and the guys that got these scores, they had a partner. So, this is all gross, right? I'm playing to a zero, so I have gone through each and every scorecard, and I've picked out the best score on the six hardest holes and the worst score on the six hardest holes. And my goal, like I said, is to try and be kind of somewhere in the middle, but in reality, I'm trying to beat that low score. So, I'm going to tell you the holes, I'm going to tell you the scores, and then I'm going to play the hole. I'm going to have a witness. I am bringing one of the cart staff with me to basically make sure that I don't cheat, which I wouldn't anyway, but there's a lot of haters out there on social media, so I'll have a witness. Let's see what I can do on the six hardest holes from our Nightmare Golf Tournament. All right, we're out here on number five. This was a captain's choice hole, and it's probably the shortest hole on the golf course besides one of the par threes. Best score was a birdie. It was a gross birdie. It was a natural birdie. So I doubt seriously I'm making birdie on this hole today unless I hit my wedge shot to the exact spot that I need to, and I hit the putt exactly where I need to. Here is my filmer, filmer slash score slash person that makes sure that I'm actually doing this legit. So see what I can do. Par four. From this stone, it says 320 yards, but I'm about 10 yards back. So we're going to say it's 330. Not a super hard hole, but it's a super hard pin placement. All right, so I have, I don't know how far I have. Hold that. 62 playing 64. I am not going at this flag. That's the first part. I've got it onto the green, relatively close to where I wanted to put it. I'll see if I can make a putt. Oh, 
cut up. So that's where I was trying to leave it, originally, from back there. Oh no, I didn't hit it. <sighs> I have the line though, I got the line. Just gotta hit it right. I just have to grow some balls. Can I see that on YouTube? Shit, I pulled the mess out of that one. So I was putting for birdie. And I was putting for par. And that was a bogey putt, right? We'll just rewatch it and count. But the first one was a birdie putt. Well, I know the first one was a birdie putt. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. That's what I was trying to do. I got a lot of work to do to get to where I want to be. I'm uh, making a big number on this hole. That's it. <laughs> and they're all the same putt. I'm literally missing the same putt over and over again. know that doesn't work. It might take longer than I expected. Oh, it took me what? Six putts? Alright, I don't know exactly how many that was. So, I have to count. I don't know what I just had there. All right, so if I counted that up correctly, <laughs> I think I tied the worst score on that hole. So the best score was a three, which was a birdie. Uh, like I said, that was a gross birdie. The worst score being an 11, and I'm almost positive that's what I just made, if I counted it correctly. So... Once I like finish the editing and everything, we'll, uh, oh, I'll have the actual score with that, with that clip, obviously. So it took me four minutes to make that putt. So we're going to hole 11 now. Hole 11 is also a par four. Uh, another shortish par four with another really hard pin location. Number 11 was in the best ball format. So the best score there was a par. And the worst score was a 14. So I'm on track to tie all the worst scores right now. So let's see if I can get back on track and get back on the best score side. Because I am currently 7 over par, I believe. If I, Like I said, if I counted that correctly just now, I am 7 over par. I hit that really thin. <laughs> Stay below the hole. Stop. Oh boy. That's not quite what I was trying to do. 
I actually think I like this button. Oh, shoot. I misread that. Now I'm in trouble, because I don't like it from this angle. I did like it from that angle just a bogey all right this is hole 13 i have done this hole on my tiktok before for a hole of the day i might have done it for youtube shorts but i don't know for sure uh this is a par five it's a pretty short par five and the best gross score on this hole was a bogey so hopefully i can beat that but i heard a lot of people putted their ball into the water you'll see why when we get up there this pin is just horrendous but like i said that's the point of this tournament right like the point of the tournament was to put these pins in these kind of places and make this as hard as possible so i am i think eight over now because i just made bogey on the last hole so see if i can make something happen here make up some ground we'll see It's gonna be a little bit of a cutty five, which is kind of dangerous with this pin location, but I'm still gonna hit it. That was way too safe of a shot. I got a little too safe with that. So there's water over here. I'm gonna turn the camera around here in a second. Let me stop the cart. Um, there's water on the right side of the screen. Like I said, if you've watched my TikTok, you've seen this hole before, but you've never seen a pin placement like this. So I was trying to cut it in there, but I wanted to get over the water and I didn't want to leave myself too terribly hard of a putt. But now I'm not even on the green and it's pretty much an impossible chip shot. So I'm gonna flip the camera around so you can see essentially why I hit that shot. So there is the pond and you can see the pin placement right on the front left corner of that green now you can understand why people putted the ball into the water today my ball is just short of this bunker over here this is not, i made bogey from this hole on the from this spot the other day so i am not liking my chances here that is so mean why did i do that Like I said, oh, this has potential to go in the water. I will take that all damn day. And I pretty much landed it right where I said I wanted to. Uh, it just took a softer bounce than what I was hoping it would. I was hoping it would take a larger bounce, but anyway, I actually got a birdie putt today. So second birdie putt of the day. Uh, let's see if I can make it. Oh, I thought I made it. All right, so I beat the low score on this hole. That's a positive. Now, the best score on this hole was a six net five so my gross score was better like i said i don't get strokes so i technically tie the best score on this hole but as far as gross scores go i have the best gross score on this hole so this is hole 15 another par five the best score on this hole was a par and it was a gross par so i have to basically tie what i just did on 15 to tie the best score I need to make a birdie to have the best gross score on this hole worst score on this hole was a 12. And that's because we made a max score of 12 on this hole only because this pin is absolutely impossible. Uh, the worst score on number 13, the hole that I just played, was a 15. So I beat that by a lot. I am still 8 over par. Let's see if I can get to 7. Kind of forgot. Forgot my math for a minute. Ball was killed. So I got 239 playing 245. I got a hybrid in hand. This pin is ridiculously hard. So 
my goal was to just try and land this like on the short like front side of the green and let it stay in the bottom that's going to give me the best chance to get make a two putt for birdie That's enough to get on. That's going to be really good because that's right. It's going to hopefully be right where I said I was going to put it. So it looks like it landed like on the front left and it should funnel down to the front right. All right. So I am on in two and I'm pretty much right where I said I wanted to be. I'm in the bowl on the bottom right. So it, from what it looks like, it was 245 yards away. My eyesight is awful, but it looked like it landed like kind of middle left or middle middle and then took this slope and funneled down to the right side of the green, which is right where I said I wanted it to be. <laughs> this pin placement is just dumb. All right, so here's my ball. The goal is to try and put it in this fringe right in here. Like if I can, if I can get this ball to stop like right here, I should have a straight putt for par or for birdie. So take this flag out i don't know why but and then i'm gonna hand the camera over to david let's see if i can two putt i doubt i can one putt but you know what we're gonna give it a shot get in the fringe oh no Here we go again. I should have just putted it at the front. You gotta hit it hard. Okay. That's what I should have done the second putt and just played for par. Now I'm putting for bogey. That's not even guaranteed. second that that was right where I wanted to hit it and then I thought for a second that it was going to come backwards into the hole stop that means absolutely nothing that it stopped okay I've lost track of what I'm putting for again I tried to just ram that into the back of the hole. So I'm gonna play the max my, the max score rule on this again. This was probably like one of two impossible pins. So I'm gonna play the max score as well. I don't even know what I'm putting for anymore.
you gotta get it in the fridge. There's no making this putt unless you get it in the fridge. And even then, you're probably not gonna make it. You are dumb. You've got to be shitting me. <laughs> I have no one to blame but myself. I told him to put the pins there. Oh, I pulled it. Stay. It's not going to. Come on. Alright, I'm going to put it like one or two more times and then I'm just going to take my max 12. That was stupid. But that one goes in. Really? I'll have to go count that up. I don't know what I just made. Well, I tell you, I haven't added that up yet. Uh, I'm running out of daylight, so I'm trying to get these last two holes in before it gets dark. That's just going to make it even harder. Um, so I'm going over to 17 now. 17 to par three. Probably, probably one of the harder par threes on the golf course without the messed up pin location. Uh, the best score on this hole was a par, and the worst score was a 14. So I'm trying not to make a 14. We'll see. All right, so the yardage is 198. It's playing 193. I'm going to try and hit a six iron. <laughs> I can't really cut it in there because, well the water on the right and the pins on the right and this is just not a pin that you want to go at so uh i don't even know where i'm going to try and leave this this should be fun oh that might be wet it's either wet or short i'm not gonna lie i didn't see it i didn't see it either i don't know where it's at so like i said daylight's becoming an issue I have no idea where that ball went I thought I was short, but that is a leaf. So that means I am most likely in the water. <laughs> so I'm just going to do a quick search and then hopefully not have to take a drop. It was hit really well. Oh, I think I found it. Oh, <laughs> I almost stepped on it. All right. There's my ball. It is technically in the penalty area. Look at this pin, y'all. That is just, why did I do that? So good thing is that it's red, it's red hazard, so I can play it and I don't have to take a drop. That ball was almost in the water. So let's see if I can get up and down. Doubtful, but let's try. <laughs> Almost killed my cameraman. <laughs> oh man. Almost <laughs> killed me. <laughs> Well, I'll tell you what, I got all ball there. I can see how a 14 was made on this hole. So I've left the flag in. I hate putting with the flag in, but... 
makes it easier for y'all to see where the hole is and for me at this point. Good luck. Oh my god, that was so good. And then now it's she not. gone. That was so good. I hit that right where I wanted to. Stop right there. I think I can make that one. <laughs> well, all things considered, I'll take it. All right, so hole 18, par four. The worst score on this hole was a 29. I hope I can beat that, but I'm not really sure anymore. <laughs> The best score was a four. I know for a fact I can't beat that. <laughs> so I don't know exactly what my total is. I'll I'll do all that when I uh, do the editing for this video. I'll get all the numbers and everything, and you'll see the numbers at the end of the round. Or if you're following along, then you probably know what they are more than I do right now, but I've lost count. So I think I'm going to beat 95. 95 was the total of the worst scores, and 25 was the total of the best scores. I think I'm well over 25 already. Um... So, it's dark. Hopefully, we can get a little bit of light here. But, before it gets any darker, let's go play 18. Right where I wanted it. Alright, so, real quick, as I'm driving up to my ball, I want to thank Tricks on Cleveland Golf, uh, Statesville Country Club, Primo Golf Apparel, Chippewatomus Golf, and David over here for <laughs> being my cameraman and my flashlight. So this has been a lot of fun. Uh, don't forget to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and I gotta find my golf ball. I hit that one really good. All right, so we're gonna search for this golf ball and then show you the second and third and fourth and fifth and sixth and seventh shots. <laughs> However many shots it takes me. I nuked that ball, guys. I have gone through the fairway, but I have pretty good line at this flag for whatever that's worth because there's no getting this ball close. So the yardage is 131 playing 134. Pin is on the right side in the middle of the slope. I watched someone make a 29 on this hole. I watched them make the 29. I also watched someone make a 20 and a 25 on this hole. This was easily the hardest hole all day. Yeah, it's got a draw off of this line, so, I mean, I gotta just play for a, like, a, draw, a big draw. If it doesn't draw, then I'm really screwed. I mean, it's left of the flag, but it should be on the lower portion of the green. So, nowhere near where I want it to be. I don't know if you can see it or not with the lighting, but... There's no stopping this ball up here. I mean, there is a way to stop it up here, but if I have any chance of making this putt, it's probably gonna end up way down there on the front of the green. Let's see what we can do though. I was scared. I was scared to give it a chance. Oh, I thought I made it. Holy crap. All right, I'm leaving the flag out, so hopefully y'all can see the hole. But that was so close to going in. Here it comes. Back to me. Here we go again. This is not going to stop. Boom! 
that's a double. I've never fist pumped for a double in my life. <laughs> that was literally the only way I was going to make a putt on this hole. I was trying to leave my approach shot down there so I could putt up this hill. Oh well. So, I have to go back and watch all these clips and figure out what the heck I shot. So, thanks for watching, guys. Like I said, be sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Shout out to David for helping me record today and holding a flashlight for me when I needed it. And Tricks on Cleveland Golf, Primo Golf Apparel, Chippewatomus Golf, all the above, like I mentioned before. Thanks for watching. We'll be back soon. All right, so I have gone back and added it all up. I went back and lost all the clips. Not what I was hoping, but I mean, like I said, they had partners. I was playing solo. You know, there's a lot to this equation, right? So I could have taken a partner out there and potentially, you know, gone and shot even on these holes. I didn't think 95 was ever gonna happen. Uh, plus 70 on those holes. I didn't think that I would actually, you know, make the max scores. Now, there's an asterisk on 15 because like I said, 12 was the max score for that hole. I made a 17. I'm gonna keep that score. I'm gonna take the 17, even though they only played out to 12 uh, in the event. I went on to make triple bogey on 17 and double bogey on 18, which gave me a score of 50, which is 25 over, which is basically double what the best scores were. So I'm kind of right in the middle, right? The best, the worst scores was 95. The best scores were 25 and I shot 50. So I kind of expected to be right in the middle of that. Like I said, I could have taken a partner out there and it could have been totally different, right? Uh, we could have played those holes with the same format that they played. And that could have been interesting to see how we did. But I wanted to see how I could do by myself with those, you know, pin placements. And they were tough. So I had a lot of fun setting this tournament up uh, and picking the pin placements. Uh, it was a lot of fun. Like I said, you get to screw the members basically one time a year. And that's in this particular tournament, the Nightmare or Superintendent's Revenge or whatever you want to call it, right? Whatever your course calls it. You know, that's the one time of the year that you can put the absolute worst pin placements and they can't get mad because they know what to expect. So last year they said that the pins were too easy. Um, supposedly that they complained and said that they were, for this particular tournament, they it wasn't as hard as they expected it to be. I decided to make sure that that was not going to be the case this year. Uh, as you saw with those five, those six locations, those were some really, really tough. And those were, the, those were the six hardest. There was a couple that were a little bit easier. There was a couple that probably could have been just as hard. There's a couple that probably could have been harder. But like I said, I wanted to get a couple holes from each format. The, most, the majority of the hard holes were from the alternate shot format, which were holes 13, 15, 17, and 18. Those were the six hardest pin placements, the last six holes but I wanted to get one of the captain's choice holes and one of the best ball holes in there. Maybe next year I'll go out there with a partner and you know we'll do it you know the same format as the uh, you know the way they played in the tournament and see how we fare against the best and the worst scores. But that's until next year. So uh, once again, thanks for watching. Thanks for following along. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, I had a lot of fun making the video. I had a lot of fun setting up the golf course. So once again, I want to thank Strix on Cleveland Golf and Primo Golf Apparel and Chippopotamus Golf and Statesville Country Club and David for helping me record today. I definitely don't think I could have done the recording on this without David's help. This was a lot more complicated than I expected it to be. There was some, you know, positions that if I was out there by myself, it would have been a little bit harder to get the camera where I wanted it to. So it was kind of nice to have him out there and help me do that. So there it is. I shot 50. I didn't think 25 was an actual like possibility. Uh, I didn't think shooting even or better was going to actually happen. I was hoping to be a little bit closer. And honestly, I had two holes where I just kept putting the ball. I was putting for birdie on one and putting for eagle on the other and i walked away with an 11 and a 17 so 
that shows you just how tough the pins were uh, on those two holes particularly. So I don't know, maybe if I had a partner out there, I might've made a little bit better of a score, uh, but whatever, you know, it was a lot of fun. So once again, thanks for watching. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and we'll be back soon.